welcome friends today video is about how to make a steering wheel control for your car games let's get started first of all create canvas and add a ui image ui image and add and change the position to a corner of the screen left down corner and increase the size to a 180 it's a right size of for a steering wheel and assign the steering wheel UI which link is available in the description change the name to steering wheel and create a script for steering wheel name steering wheel control and open it into a visual story for write some line of course so first of all create a private ball variable wheel being held and valued by default fast and add a header files using unity engine to event system and ui so create a public function on pointer down and get the input pointer event data which is by default input and copy this function and duplicate to two to three times change the name on drag and on pointer up when pointer down the wheel being held true and pointer up the value of UV being held fast now call this function because this is a built-in function I drag handler now add some other variables for rack transform public wheel it's a graphic transform of the wheel steering wheel and add a float variable wheel angle and last wheel angle this value is zero and add a private vector to center of the wheel and the max tear angle which is maybe 200 and 300 and release speed which is used to coming back on first position and back tear angle 200 now set the center privately using rack transform utility and world to screen point even data dot press even camera first position and the wheel dot position it returned the value of center now set the last wheel angle value using vector 2 angle and from vector up to angle between the data minus position dot position minus center now set the new angle which is same as last wheel angle copy it and paste it data dot position minus center if data dot position minus center and the scale magnitude greater than 200 yeah maybe 400 because the scale magnitude now if data dot position dot x greater than the center dot x then the wheel angle plus new angle and minus the last wheel angle last if data position greater uh, than the minus the new angle and last wheel angle. now set the wheel angle value float no math f dot clamp with then the value between the minus tear max tear angle and the max plus positive max tear angle, which is between the minus 200 to 200 now set the last wheel angle to a new wheel angle and call this drag function to point it up now, this time for reversing the wheel to its original position if we we'll bring pressed fast and the wheel angle not equal to zero then create a private delta angle variable and value is release speed multiply time to delta time if math have those abs because used for returning only positive session of the value greater than the wheel angle then the wheel angle is 0f plus if wheel angle greater than 0f then the wheel angle minus the delta angle and if wheel angle less than the less than the 0 then the plus the change of delta angle in the final session for rotating a wheel rotating in z axis so z is minus wheel angle now add the output 
for getting the value of horizontal set the output wheel angle divided by max tear angle select the script and assign on steering wheel and assign the value of wheel to a rack transform now go and test it rotate the wheel and when we release it's coming back to its original position so set the release speed to 450 now rotate it's coming more faster now exit play mode and select the car car user control open the skip into visual studio and set the input of stair so first create three variables first axle public and stair and brake now set the function axle input float input and axle equal to input which is we calling publicly using the any button and brake input function so go and fast these value because this kit control with keyboard so we are setting to our into touch mode now go and change the edge horizontal value to a stair and the vertical value to axle and set the hand brake to public variable play now set the value of stair by using the steering wheel skip so select the steering wheel skip and add a header file of unity standard as a dot vehicles dot car and add the public variable of car user control skip now set the car user stair value to uh, equal to output of the steering wheel value because it's just returning the horizontal value now assign the car user control skip and it's a public value which is changing by ui buttons so now create button first button for axle forward and the other duplicate it and create axle backward now add the component what tiger even tiger and add different type of trigger first pointer enter and pointer exit pointer down pointer exit and pointer up copy this component and paste on axle back button so set the values of even trigger first add list and add the car prefab and change function car user control to action input for forward value set to 1 and add the list on pointer down to car now select the car function to car user control axle input 1 and 0 and 0 it's for exit or down down for one now copy and paste it and change the value to minus one minus one for axle back now change the source image for back pattern brake pattern now go and test it how it works